This tape shows erection techniques involving safety products. While all best efforts were used to show safe erection practices, this is not a safety training tape. It is the responsibility of the erection contractor to provide safety training for all workers and to comply with all federal, state, and local safety regulations. The SkyWeb 2 system is designed to offer fall protection to workers at the leading edge of the roof. The SkyWeb 2 system will also increase productivity during the erection process of the new building. The time used for tasks such as tie-offs, rigging, unrigging, untangling lifelines and safety clamps is drastically reduced, resulting in both cost and time savings. While the SkyWeb 2 system offers many benefits to the builder and particularly the construction worker, the system alone is no substitute for proven sound construction safety practices. For example, the SkyWeb 2 system does not offer perimeter of roof fall protection. As a result, other fall protection measures will be required. SkyWeb 2 can be easily installed. The SkyWeb 2 system is a DuPont nylon mesh and made up in sections which will cover one bay of a building from eave to eave in most cases. The SkyWeb 2 system arrives at the job site complete with instructions, drawings, V-straps with wire clips and fasteners. The SkyWeb 2 sections are marked with the bay location. SkyWeb 2 is shipped in boxes for small to medium-sized structures and in bags for large structures. SkyWeb 2 installation begins by fastening the V-straps to the inside of the top flange of the building's eave struts or members. The connections are made with wafer head Phillips self-drilling screws. The V-straps overlap each other and at the lap a wire clip must be field installed. SkyWeb 2 sections are first pulled over the structure by hand or with a specially patented installation sled. This optional sled is shipped to the job site in three sections which can be quickly and easily assembled. The mesh is placed toward the middle of the sled so that it unfolds as the sled is pulled across roof structurals from eave to eave. Open the box or bag at the starting eave and pull the green color-coded braided nylon out of the bag and remove any natural twist in the mesh section. Removing the natural twist in the mesh can generally be accomplished by following these two guidelines. In the end bays, the mesh sections have a set of double safety orange twines on the side that attaches to the end wall framing. The intermediate bay mesh sections have a set of double twines with one green tracer twine, which should be placed to the left side of the section. Now, cut the first two bands on the bag and pull the sled away from the eave 10 to 15 feet. The mesh can now be spread across the starting eave and temporarily attached to the wire clips. Once this is accomplished, pull the sled and begin spreading the mesh. The mesh is then spread over the purlins from frame to frame or frame to end wall by hand. On large structures utilizing bar joist, the SkyWeb 2 sections can be temporarily held in place by hooking the end over the top flange of the bar joist. The SkyWeb 2 system is laid over the purlins, leaving a uniform drape between the purlins to accommodate and support the roofing insulation. The SkyWeb 2 mesh is then attached to the wire clips by gathering the first three diamond section knots at each pigtail and looping them into the wire clip. At the building end walls, the V-straps are attached to the inside of the top flange of the gable angle in the same manner as the E. The SkyWeb 2 mesh has safety orange double twines at the end wall. Starting at the corner, loop every other set of double orange twines into the wire clips. At the intermediate frames, SkyWeb 2 sections are spliced together with number 36 braided nylon lacing. This special lacing tool laces each diamond section together from eave to eave across the width of the building. To start, tie a hard knot in the first two adjoining diamond sections and then begin lacing each adjoining diamond section. As you're lacing the sections together, do not pull the lacing tight. The splice should be left relatively loose to assure proper installation. Additional hard knots must be tied approximately every five feet or at each roof structural location to prevent the splice from separating should the braided nylon accidentally be damaged. At the finishing eave, you will find that each SkyWeb 2 section will vary in length from one section to another. The critical element of the attachment at the finishing eave is to maintain the same row of diamond sections down the eave, attaching the mesh to the wire clips in the same manner used at the starting eave 
by gathering three diamond section knots and looping them into the wire clip. Once the entire section is secured, the excess mesh can be trimmed off. The SkyWeb 2 system has successfully passed the OSHA drop testing procedure 29, CFR 1926.502, subpart M, which involves dropping a 400-pound bag of sand from 42 inches above the plane of the roof structurals into the mesh. The SkyWeb 2 system also offers insulation support. The SkyWeb 2 system remains in place after construction to support the insulation, eliminating the need to provide other support methods such as banding. It's important to note that throughout the entire erection process, the erector should know and understand all pertinent OSHA regulations. The Occupational Safety and Health Act has many regulations that apply to the erection of pre-engineered buildings. Observing these regulations, coupled with good safety practices, will keep the job site in compliance and contribute to a successful and safe job completion. Keep in mind that falls from roofs are the major cause of fatalities in the construction industry. The use of the SkyWeb 2 system is an excellent investment in your employees and your company's future. Let Sinco's SkyWeb 2 system maximize your job site safety efforts, while at the same time providing you overall cost and time savings.